Hello friends, you can see today we would like to think about a very important topic, the solution of test number 1. Last time we considered a JW NEET test number 1 for electrical potential. Today we would like to think about the solution of this all 20 questions. Few questions are very empty and ideal for JW NEET. So we will start. You can see here, we start with the first one. You can see question number 1, sorry. And uh, what is the question number one? This type of a circular path is given, and you can see here the charge is placed at the center of the circular path. What's your target? Your target to find line integration of electric field over this circular path. So line integration of electric field over this closed path is E dot dl, and it is always equal to zero. Why? Why it is called? We can say that uh, zero or equal to zero because of uh, fundamental characteristics of conservative field, you know that very well. What are the characteristics? Number one, in uh, conservative field, you know that the work done required in moving charge from one point to other is independent of type of path chosen, but depends upon initial and final position. What's the second characteristic? Second characteristic already applied here. If you take line integration of electric field, line integration of electric field itself for work done. So work done required to move any charge from he can say the one point to other, but along circular path or along closed path always equal to zero. In short, line integration of electric field over any closed path, this is the symbol for closed path always equal to zero. So most time thing. One more point. It is not we can say the fundamental point, but uh, you have to consider it, sometime it works. Don't forget, if you apply all your, we can say the logical points to solve given question, but after application of each and every possible conceptual points, but there is no answer at all, then you have to think about this technique. Just analyze the four options, check the any option out of these four options, anyone is in the form of zero, so don't forget, after application of all logical points, if your mind we can say that do not sorry doesn't get any satisfactory answer logically I am telling you logically, then don't forget only one slogan Jo bane zero, vai hamar hero. That means out of these four options, whatever the option zero, it can be your we can say that most probably right answer. So only four we can say that. In worst scenario, don't forget first target to apply your most we can say that uh, available we can say that uh, most available conceptual points. After that, you have to consider this point. Next point, we will discuss the next the second point. The second point also we can say that very important for us. So turn by turn, we will discuss the second number point. Second number point: uniform electric field is prevailing in y direction. Uniform electric field is prevailing in the y direction. So this is, you can see that x, y plane. Question number two, here y. Electric field is already taken in this direction, you can see. Next point, next point very important. Now there are three points given A, B, C. A already is zero, zero. This is the position for A. Then B, two, zero. There is B, two, zero. And C, zero, two. So obviously this is C, zero, two. So what's your target? Which of the following alternative is true for the potential at these three points, sir? So obviously, this is the direction of electric field. You know that very well, electric field is equal to minus delta V by delta R. That is in the direction of electric field. This minus sign indicating in the direction of electric field, potential always decreases. So here electric field is already in the direction of y-axis. As you move in this direction, electric field gradually you can see that increases. So what happens with the potential? Obviously, potential decreases. So here, here at this point A and B, A and B already lying on same plane. Okay, or same potential. You can consider surface then, okay. So here surface to turn on A or B. So obviously, potential at point A, VA, potential at point B, VB, potential at point C, VC. But A and B already at the same, we can say that line or lying on the same line. So obviously potential at these two points are equal. But you can see, see you already you know that after traveling two unit distance, there is point C. So obviously in the direction of displacement, what happens? Potential gradually decreases. But in the direction of electric field, 
obviously potential decreases. So obviously at this two points n be potential equal, but at this point c potential is already less than this these two points a and b. So this is your answer v a is equal to v b, but this potential at these two points already greater than that of this point c. Now we think about the next question. So this is your question number two. So answer to a. Okay. Now third number the distance between electric charges. This is very interesting no doubt. So discuss the next number three. So question number three. What is the question? Here two charges given Q and nine Q. This is capital Q charge. This is you can see the nine Q charge. They both are separated by distance four meter. Total distance four meter. What's the question? Where? What is the electric potential? What is the electric potential at a point on the line joining these two charges where the electric field is zero? This is the condition. We would like to find potential, but at which point? At the point where electric field is zero. So first of all, we'll apply some general unit concept for zero electric field. You have already idea about the shortcut. Let at a distance x from this charge Q. Let at a distance x there is a point P. Here suppose field becomes zero, electric field becomes zero. So for zero electric field already it is called neutral point or null point. So x is equal to d upon under root Q2 by Q1 plus one. Yaad karo formula shortcut. So d is the total distance. Obviously here four under root Q2 nine Q. Upon this is small magnitude charge Q plus one Q Q cancel. What is the root of nine? Three. You can see three plus one four. Four four cancel. So obviously one meter. That means here say one meter ki duri pe hume potential find karna hai. So potential at point P. Potential at point P. It is V P is equal to. What is the potential at this point P? Here potential is mainly produced due to these two charges. What's the formula of potential due to charge? K Q by R. So K capital Q upon distance. What is this distance? One plus K nine Q upon this distance. What is this distance? Total four minus one. That means three meter. So three. So if you simplify, then obviously here K capital Q plus three three is nine. So three capital Q. So answer four capital. You can see that Q into K. This is the potential at point P. So your answer four capital Q into K. That means four K Q. So option number A is the right answer. So this is your question number three. Now we discuss question number four. It is already asked in Vigyan's as a board exam. So just concentration required. Shortcuts Vigyan says that here in uh, this is your test number one. So what are the questions we have discussed? These questions we can say that some moderate. But now question number sorry test number two. Then we'll we can say the change the level. So now question number fourth. Two metallic spheres of radii R one and R two. First R one question number four, and there is another R two. Ready. Next point. They are brought into contact with each other. With a conducting wire, they are separated. Very interesting. Any time two spheres already you can see they come see sorry come in contact by using a conducting wire or there is a contact by using conducting wire. And after separation of this contact, what happen? One quantity becomes common. Obviously, potential. We have never found the potential already equal at both spheres. So I can write V1 is equal to V2. V1 is the potential here and V2. Here question हमने कितनी बार discuss किया हुआ V1 is equal to V2. So V1 what is the relationship between electric field and potential? So electric field E is equal to V by R. So V is equal to E into R. So here V1 so it is E1 into R1 and V2 that means E2 into R2 because of this shortcut. So E1 by E2 is equal to Obviously, R2 by R1. So this is your answer. Okay, ये आप formula तो भी जा सकते हो मैंने वो method भी दी है. So question number four. Obviously, answer R2 by R1. That means A. You can see. So very interesting. Now think about fifth number. ये हर एक question को अच्छी तरह देखो. आपने यही logic apply किया. Very good. 
ना अगेन तो चेक करो कि कहां पे क्या कांसेप्ट अप्लाई हो रहा है सो नाउ वी थिंक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 वेरी हैप्पी शॉर्टकट फॉर एन आइडेंटिकल स्मॉल स्फेरिकल ड्रॉपलेट सपोज दिस टाइप ऑफ वन टू वन टू डैश 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 एन दिस टाइप ऑफ एन नंबर ऑफ ड्रॉपलेट्स गेट कंबाइंड एंड फॉर्म यू कैन सी दैट लार्ज ड्रॉपलेट दिस इज द लार्ज ड्रॉपलेट ऑफ बिगर वन okay what is the potential on we can say that the small droplet it is v v v so what is the potential on the large droplet suppose it is v s r iska shortcut maine diya hua hai whenever n number of droplets combine and form a large droplet then potential on bigger droplet suppose v s it is n raised to 2/3 or 2 by 3 into v you can see here n represent the number of droplets very very important pointer so this is your answer but this question is already one of the most important shortcut this is question number 5 you know that very well question number 5 so what is the answer don't forget very important shortcut future mein kaam mein aane wala hai number 6 so i have discussed number 6 so question number 6 Here six sorry four charges given plus ten microcoulomb plus five microcoulomb minus three microcoulomb and eight microcoulomb. They all are situated at four corners of the cylinder. This concentration required. Uh, this type of square is shown here. Here uh, we we'll set up the charges. So just check the charges plus ten. It is already in the form of microcoulomb plus five, then minus three, and then already eight. Okay, length of side already given root two. So what's your target? Your target to find the potential at the center of the sphere. That is your target. You can see that. So we would like to find potential at the center. How can you obtain center? Obviously by taking, by taking intersection of diagonals. And but you know that diagonals of square always bisect. Okay, perpendicularly. So this distance always same. So, यहाँ पे एक बात कॉमन है चारों चार्जेस से जो अपना टारगेट पी है उसकी दूरी सेम है सो आर रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन सी दैट आर 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 सो वट इज द फॉर्मूला पोटेंशियल हियर जनरली पोटेंशियल और मेनली पोटेंशियल इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू दिस फोर चार्जेस वन टू थ्री फोर सो टोटल पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट पी इट इज वी वन प्लस वी टू प्लस वी थ्री प्लस वी फोर सो वट इज द पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट पी बिकॉज ऑफ फर्स्ट चार्ज It is obviously k into 10. Directly I can let k q by r. What is this distance r? How can you find this distance r? So this is root 2. This is also root 2. You know that. So we can easily find this distance because of Pythagoras. So this distance already you know that very well 2 r. So 2 r is equal to under root. Under root uh, square of root 2. Square of root 2. So obviously 2 plus 2 that means 4. So two, so R is equal to obviously one meter. So this distance one meter. So here upon one. Now V two, V two already five. So K into five upon one. V three already negative. So minus K Q upon one because distance remains same and eight. So plus K Q upon distance. So now you can see this is very easy. K upon one. K nine into ten raised to nine. Inside the bracket, ten plus five minus three plus eight. If you simplify this portion, can you get answer? Answer already you can see one point eight into ten raised to. I can say five or three. Most probably, you can obtain the answer. Okay, if you apply the some conceptual point. So very interesting point. Answer one point eight into ten raised to five. One point eight into ten raised to five volt. So. This is your question number six. Very easy. Here uh, only only we can say the concept around we can say uh, <coughs> sorry distance from each and every corner or I can say charge. So question number six. Very interesting. Now number seven. We will discuss number seven. Seven number. The work of 200 joule is done in moving the charge of minus five coulomb, but from infinity to point P. Okay. Then what is the potential at this point P? So this concentration required hence this is you can see that uh, very easy but uh, slippery many students we can say that uh, make mistake here so this concentration required here are two points given point p and in 
finite. We would like to move this charge from infinite to what is this charge minus five coulomb. We would like to move this minus five coulomb charge from infinite to point P. Obviously, for this type of you know that moving of charge work done is needed. It is given two hundred joule, but two hundred joule work is given. So what is the potential at this point P? Let the potential at point P is V P. So now you know that work done is equal to Q into delta V. Q here minus five. Delta V that means final potential. This is your initial position. What is the pot potential at initial? It is V infinite, and this is your final. So final minus initial. Uh, this is your we can say the formula. Work done W two hundred joule minus five V P your target. What is the potential at infinite distance? Potential at infinite distance always equal to zero. So V P is equal to five four J. That means minus forty volt. Uh, This is your we can say the answer for question number seven. Uh, don't forget seven number. Okay, so you can see turn by turn we have discussed seven questions. Now we move towards the number eight. So eight number very empty. Three equal charges are given. So three equal charges. Three equal charges. Number eight. You can see this type of triangle given. And three equal charges given here Q, Q, and Q. And this is your centroid. You know that how can you obtain centroid? And at this point, we would like to find potential. So there is question that potential zero or not? Obviously, potential is not equal to zero. Because its cap k distance r, r or r. Here three k k by r. But what about if the electric field? Your target to find electric field. So what is this? charge positive or negative positive so for positive charge electric field outward this is e what is the electric field due to this charge it is also outward so e and the resultant of this obviously in this direction okay so this ka jo electric field hoga obviously ye direction mein hoga so answer hai wo yahan pe zero ho sakta hai magar yahan pe jo data diya hai उसमें जरा जैसे कह सकते हैं कि करेक्शन अपन लोग देखे प्लस क्यू प्लस क्यू हियर वी कैन से द टू क्यू रिक्वायर्ड देयर इज मिस्टेक टू क्यू चार्ज सो टू क्यू चार्ज रिक्वायर्ड सो टू क्यू का इधर होगा टू ई और ये दोनों ई ई है व्हाट इज नॉट आउट सॉरी ई दिस इज क्यू नॉट आउट बिकॉज़ हियर वी कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस एंगल सो फॉर 120 एंगल रिमेन सेम तो ये भी ई होगा तो ये और ये दोनों कैंसिल हो जाएंगे सो ऑब्वियसली इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इक्वल टू 0 सो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जीरो तो कैंसिलेशन कैसे हुआ वो जरा इधर देखते काफी लोगों को ये प्रॉब्लम होता है ये रहा आपका फर्स्ट वेक्टर ई देन दिस इज योर सेकंड ई व्हाट इज द वी कैन से द रिजल्टेंट रिजल्टेंट इन दिस डायरेक्शन इट इज सपोज ई एस व्हाट इज द एंगल दिस एंगल यू नो दैट वेरी वेल 120 सो रिजल्टेंट फाइंड करने का आप लोग फंदा जानते हैं स्क्वायर प्लस ई स्क्वायर प्लस 2e e cos 120 cos 120 you know that we will minus one half so under root e square plus e square 2e square 2e square because of e e cos 120 minus one half two to cancel for a minus either way ga to automatically i can write 2e square minus e square so obviously e so e dash e isliye humne iska answer e liya और पॉजिटिव का भी ई बोथ आर इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन इक्वल मैग्नीट्यूड ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो आंसर है द पोटेंशियल डस नॉट बिकम जीरो बट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जीरो सो नाउ वी विल थिंक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग तो गाइस अब आपने कांसेप्टचुअली अच्छी तरह पढ़ा होगा तो ये सभी क्वेश्चन बहुत ही फटाफट हो सकते हैं अदरवाइज इट टेक्स सम टाइम एंड लॉजिकली वेरी इजी बट कांसेप्टचुअल पावर रिक्वायर्ड व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन We read the question. A conducting sphere of radius 10 cm is charged with 10 microcoulomb. There is a conducting sphere, radius 10, charge 10 microcoulomb. And uh, another uncharged sphere of radius 20 cm. There is 20 cm. You can see that. And now this both are we can say that come in contact. And uh, if both the spheres are separated, then surface charge density on the spheres will be on the ratio of length curve. So we have to find surface charge density. Let the surface charge density on the first sphere is sigma one. Surface charge density on the second sphere is sigma two. So we would like to find sigma one by sigma two. This is your we can say that 
I'm sorry, question or target. So very easy, you know that very well. Here two spheres are already in contact. After removal of contact, anybody, one quantity always constant potential and one Z only constant we have discussed for constant potential. If potential constant for constant potential surface charge density is inversely proportional to radius. This is your unsold textbook NCRT unsold number 2.20. Very interesting. So sigma is inversely proportional to R. So very easy. Sigma 1 by sigma 2 is equal to I can write R2 by R1. So it is 20 by 10. So sigma 1 by sigma 2 it is 2 is to 1. That's your answer. Directly we can solve by using shortcut. So question number 9 it is already Delhi 2 is to 1. Now question number 10. The unique charge is taken from one point to other on an equipotential surface. Then what's the work done? Very interesting. You know that very well. Four characteristics of equipotential surface. Number one, the work done required in moving charge along the equipotential surface always zero. Electric field always perpendicular to equipotential surface. We can say that equipotential surfaces do not intersect and if electric field is strong, then equipotential surfaces are we can say the crowdy. Otherwise, electric field, sorry, equipotential surfaces are we can say they're quite apart or far apart from each other. So this is very interesting. So here work done obviously zero. So because of only one word equipotential, answer number 10, question number 10, answer B positive. Sorry, answer A zero, 10 A. Now we move towards the next question, 11 number. It is also interesting because of conceptual point of equipotential surface. The question of the question is basic. Kaafi students aisa sotte ki aise pakuri jaise questions to generally need ke liye nahi hote. Aisa koi jaruri nahi hai. Kaafi students ka yehi problem hai. Wo log generally need ko chand tarai samajhte hai. Magar chand tarai tar pochne ke liye shuruaat to always basic points first se hoti hai. So, Pela Pada of Saturn is the logic development process. Don't think about direct, we can say that very highly, we can say that conceptual applied question. Think about, we can say step by step. So, your logic clearance will be very automatically interest. Direct danger question solve a simple depression. So, consider the situation as shown in figure. This type of diagram is given. Question number 11. We are discussing now 11 number. So you can see A, then there is B, then there is C, and you can see there is a charge Q. Here is a small Q charge. And one point is also given a D. What's the question? Consider the situation. Now the work done in carrying a point charge from D, D to A, then D to B, then D to C, are W A, W B, W C, then which of the following option is true? We have to think about the relationship between WA, WB and WC. Obviously, I can write equal Y. Because whatever the potential at point A, potential at point B and potential at point C, it will remain the same. Why? Because if you think about the distance of these three points from this charge, same or I can say this is simply if you complete this circle, then the charge at the center and this type of circular or spherical path always behaves like an equipotential surface. So this is your equipotential surface. And on equipotential surface, you know that very well work done remain same. So most times the WA is equal to WB is equal to WC. This is very interesting point number 11, option Bombay. 12 number also very IMP. But 12 number here or thoda data wise typical question mana ja sakta hai. So just concentration required, question number 12. So in question number 12, we have diagram given three spherical equipotential surfaces. Spherical A, B and C. This type of three surfaces are given and exactly at the center there is a charge Q. Okay. And uh, the distance between these two points, it is T1. And distance between B and C, it is T2. So what's the question here, the potential difference, if potential difference Vm minus Vb is equal to Vb minus Vc, 
then t1 and t2 sorry t2 be the distance between them then what's the relationship between t1 and t2 question ka option dekhte hain apan log t1 aur t2 same t1 greater than t2 t1 less than t2 or t1 less than equal to t2 so here you have to think about distance potential hai distance ki kahani hai तो तो अपन लोग जानते हैं बाकी रहे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड क्योंकि ये तीन का तिकरण ध्यान से इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड पोटेंशियल एंड डिस्टेंस आर सो यू नो दैट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल्टा बी बाय डेल्टा आर सो दिस कंसंट्रेशन रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज योर डेल्टा सो दिस इज सरफेस ए सरफेस बी हियर पोटेंशियल बी ए हियर पोटेंशियल बी बी हियर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट्स बी एंड बी बी and potential difference between b and c remain same you can see but there is plus q charge you can see because of this q charge what happen electric field is produced what's the direction of electric field obviously outward this is your electric field so electric field you can see as you move away from charge what happen is the electric field the intensity of electric field decreases so in this direction electric field decreases you know that very well If in this direction electric field decreases, that means potential obviously increases. One point is clear. But if you look to this side, you can see that difference is. Who is to check? Can I have a look at this? So here, electric field between two points A B, A to B, is obviously greater than electric field between B and C. Why? Because the distance is A and B. It's B and C's distance is less. सो यहां पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड की इंटेंसिटी ज्यादा होगी ये यहां पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बड़ा कम हो जाएगा सो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ए बी ग्रेटर देन बी सी बट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड का कांसेप्टुअल पॉइंट अप्लाई करें डेल्टा वी बाय डेल्टा आर सो डेल्टा वी का मतलब होता है पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस व्हाट इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए बी इज बी ए माइनस बी बी अपॉन व्हाट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी इज टी वन ग्रेटर देन बी सी so we can write here vb minus vc potential difference upon distance t2 distance p2 so but va minus vb is equal to vb minus vc so cancel so if you think about cross multiplication so t2 greater than t1 or t1 less than t2 this is your answer so very interesting point here electric field and direction of electric field plays very important role now we'll think about question number 13 the electric potential In last lecture, we have already discussed this thirteen number most IMT. Once again, we will discuss it for your fundamental conceptual clearance. You can see it. Now, question number thirteen. The electric potential is given. You know that very well. V of x y z is equal to four x square. So we would like to find electric field at point one zero two. Electric field at One zero two. So we have already heard about electric field. So we have mentioned one point at one zero two. So here only you can see the x square. There is no y. There is no z. Then we can only obtain E x. Last lecture we discussed this point. So del v by del x. So del del x. What is the v? It is four x square. So del del x. That means the differentiation of this term. With respect to x, with respect to x, with respect to x, that means who is the hero? Obviously, x is the hero. Partial derivative with respect to x, that means x is the hero. So y, z, all are constant. First term, we have hero here, just four x square, four constant. What is the differentiation of x square? Two x. So answer minus eight x. But here x one, so minus eight. So minus sign indicating in the direction of negative x axis. So answer I got eight in minus x direction. So question number thirteen B. Now we move towards the question number fourteen. Very interesting. Here sixty four identical spherical droplets get combined. Fourteen number. Number of droplet given sixty four. And the potential on each sorry droplet is V naught. So what is the potential on the larger droplet? Recently we have discussed this point. Potential on larger droplet is n raised to two third. Two third into v. V is the potential on the surface of smaller droplet. N is the number of droplets. So number of droplets here sixty four. Two s to three into v naught. So this ko kuch log solve nahi kar pate to iske liye special. Kuch hai nahi. Cube root of sixty four. It is 
obviously 4, 4 square 16, so answer 16B0. So what is the potential of the larger droplet? It is 16 times of B0. Question number 15. Here about the IMP question, so we have heard about it. So 15 number is the electric potential given. Again, this is very similar to like 13. Here electric potential given. Therefore, a conceptual base the 14 number. V of x, y, z is equal to here potential is given in the form of mathematical equation. It is 5x square y plus 3 3 y square z plus 5 z square x. Then what is your target? Find the electric field for x component of electric field. Only x but at 1, 2 and 0. So okay, we will start with the ex. So ex, you know that minus del v by del x. So del del x. What is your v? It is already given. 5x square y plus 3y square z plus 5z square x. Here once again we are taking partial differentiation of potential with respect to x. With respect to x, that means obviously x is the hero. So, apne ko baki sab jante y or z to kya hota hai obviously constant term. So, we start with the first term. Check. In first term, your hero, that means x is present, yes. So, x square is present. So, remaining two points, 5 and y are constant. So, out of differentiation, what is the differentiation of x square? 2x. Now, second term. Is there any x? That means your hero is present? No. All complete term, or I can say that complete term is considered as constant term. And what is the differentiation of constant? 0. Now, 5z square x. 5z square x. Then, here x is present. You can see. So, obviously, 5z square constant. What is the differentiation of x? It is 1. So answer 2 pi z 10 x y plus 5 z square. You can see but now we set up the value of x y z. x y z. x 1. What is the value of y? 2 plus 5. z already 0. So no importance of this term. So 10 to 20 minus 20 volt per meter. This is your answer on Newton per Coulomb. So very interesting question number, you can see that uh, 15 number, so don't forget. Now we will discuss number 16, here we only discussed here why most IMP and it is already asking JW 2014 now. So you can see all questions are very IMP, so now we will discuss JW 2014 and your question number 16 now. Okay, so electric field is given, here electric field E is equal to a x square, sorry, A x i kept. You can only discuss here the where A is 100 volt per meter square. Simply constant. So find the potential of the origin with respect to point 1020. Potential at origin, that means at 0, 0 with respect to point T 1020. Sorry, 1020, yes, 1020. So you are already familiar with this point. Potential at point O on origin, it is VO minus with respect to P. So VP, what's the formula? With respect to P, so integration P to O, E dot dr. Friends, we have discussed this type of questions many times. So we heard E, E already AX I K per. And here dr already DX I K plus dy j cap so a already constant so out of integration i dot i is 1 so x dx i dot j 0 so there is no importance dx making noise about the limit so what should be the limit here p to o so what is the x coordinate of p 10 what is the x coordinate of o 0 so 10 to 0 this is your limit what is the integration of x so you know that integration of x a value 100, a already 100. x ka integration, it is already x square by 2 lower limit 10, upper limit 0, 10 to 0. So minus 50 because 2, 50, 100. Now we set up the limit, 0 square upper limit minus lower limit. So minus 50, 0, 100. So minus minus plus 5000 volt. 
This is your answer for question number 16 already asked in January 2014. So most important point we discussed 16 number now 17. An external agency carries minus 6 coulomb charge from infinity to point in electrostatic field and perform 120 joule of work. The potential at the given point. The same story. It is once again repeated in this question already asked in Bootset 2006. So concentration required. 16, 15 is a much question. So it's much better before. Here once again minus 6 coulomb charge. We would like to move from infinity to point P. So what is the potential at point P? And here total work done to 120. Now we have discussed here work done is equal to charge multiplied by potential difference. Either Kani Mapa says that the infinite se charge for point P ke pass lana. Infinite ke potential V infinite yaan ke VP. So charge potential difference VP minus V infinite. Work done W charge VP. What is the V infinite? It is 0. So W Q already here minus 6 coulomb. Work done already 120 joule. And VP your target, so obviously minus 20 volt. So answer minus 20. This is a question. Amne. What is it? Let's discuss here the question number 7. So question number 17 and 7 both are very similar. Question number 18. The unit of physical quantity obtained by the line integration of electric field. What is the line integration of electric field along the cross path? Zero. First question. What is the unit of line integration of electric field? First lecture, if you realize the first video lecture, then I discuss this point. Line integration of electric field, that means work done per unit charge. Line integration of electric field, that means potential. What is the unit of potential? Joule per coulomb or volt. So your answer, question number 18, Bombay. Now number 19, it is already asked in NEET 2012. So we'll discuss number 19. So just concentration required. So number 19, NEET 2012 will question. So <coughs> NEET 2012. What is the question you read and just try to solve it. Here four charges given. You can see like this type of four charges. Four charges on four vertices of square. Minus capital Q, minus small Q. 2q and 2 capital q. What is the we can say the question? The relationship between capital Q and small q for which the potential at the center of square is 0. We would like to find the relationship between capital Q and small q if a potential is produced at the center is 0. Now you are already familiar with the geometrical concept of square. Okay. So what is the total potential? Suppose this is point P. So total potential at point P, it is VP suppose. Here potential is produced because of these four charges. So I can write V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4. So VP is equal to V1. What is the meaning of V1? Potential at point P because of first charge. What's the formula of potential due to charge? KQ by R. So K. What's the charge? Minus Q upon R plus V2. V2 that means K minus Q upon R. V3 that means 2Q. So K charge upon distance R. And V3 and V4 2 capital Q. K 2Q upon R. But here total potential VP already 0. So we will set up here total potential 0. Now, this is the K by R common, so out of integer, sorry, out of, we can say that the entire mathematical term is a common, so remaining portion minus Q, minus small Q, plus 2Q, plus 2Q. So, set the sum under 0, that means a pool term 0, so 0 is equal to minus Q, plus 2Q, that means Q, minus Q, plus 2Q, that means small Q. So, Q is equal to simply minus q that's the relationship between plus q and minus q for zero potential at the center of square so this is your we can say the question number 19 need 2012 already asked me need 2012 and this is your answer a now 20 number now what a graphical question pushing here what is the we can say that graph for potential versus distance for charged spherical cell 
ये क्वेश्चन भी अपन लोगों ने डिस्कस किया हुआ है ट्वेंटी चार्ज स्पेरिकल सेल व्हाट इज द पोटेंशियल ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ चार्ज सेल इन इनसाइड द सेल सेम देन यू नो दैट आउटसाइड द सेल पोटेंशियल डिक्रीजेस सो पोटेंशियल इनसाइड द सेल देखो ये जीरो से शुरू किया और यार दिखने यानी कि रेडियस ये आपका सेल ये जीरो से आ यहां तक पोटेंशियल वी कैन से दैट कांस्टेंट and then it is kq by r that is inversely proportional so this is you can see that your graph form agar chikna kaise isme zara dekho kyun chikna kaise if you observe carefully options a and b are very similar you can see a and b but uh, a is the most probable because inversely proportional to r b hai usme curvature thoda zyada hi deep mein ja raha hai because it is one upon r square so a is the right answer I hope all of you are familiar with this type of graph. So, friends, we have discussed twenty questions. Few questions are very highly technically or fundamentally. So, be ready for the next exam. This we can say that the second test, test number two, and it is also based on electrical potential. So, we will discuss twenty to twenty-five questions again as a solution, particularly for the next lecture. But now, one very important instruction. आपने अभी पहले से अगर देखा हो ये जर्नी हमने शुरू की, तो इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल जो चैप्टर टू एन सी आर टी बेज अपना है उसकी हमने पहले से लेकर इलेक्ट्रिकल पोटेंशियल का लास्ट लेवल तक के टोटल 12 पार्ट्स हमने वीडियो लेक्चर थ्रू यूट्यूब पे रखे हुए आप देख सकते हो और आपने काफी लोगों ने बहुत अच्छी तरह उसको रिवाइज भी किया है अब जो पार्ट शुरू हो रहा है ये नंबर जिसे कह सकते हैं थर्टीन है मगर थर्टीन पार्ट एज ए सोल्यूशन जो फोर्टीन से शुरू हो रहा है वो होगा जिसे कह सकते हैं कि केपेसिटर एंड केपेसिटेंस तो अपन लोग को स्पेशल इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल पार्ट वहां पूरा होता है सो अपन लोग अब जर्नी नहीं शुरू करेंगे जिसका नाम होगा कैपेसिटर एंड कैपेसिटेंस पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री इन दिस सो फ्रेंड्स दिस ट्वेल्व पार्ट्स विथ यू रिवाइज ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट वेरी केयरफुली दूसरी बात आप काफी जिसे कह सकते हैं कि सब जगह पे अलग अलग जगह के वीडियो से सब देखते होंगे रेफरेंस कोई ना कोई स्टूडेंट्स ये सभी ट्वेल्व पार्ट्स अगर आप अच्छी तरह देखते हो उसमें एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है कि हम थ्री के साथ न्यूमेरिकल को लेके जाते हैं जबकि बाकी सब जगह एक्चुअली कनेक्शन आप देखो तो ऐसा है कि ज्यादातर कंसेप्चुअल स्टडी है और एनसीईआरटी के सीधे आई कैन से दैट वेस्टर्न सोल के यानी कि अनसोल इलास्ट्रेशन जबकि हमने थ्री के साथ डिस्कशन किया दैट मीन जो थियरी उसके रिलेटेड जो क्वेश्चन है वो हमने सोल्व करते हुए पूरा यहाँ तक की जर्नी डिस्कस की है इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल तो ये सभी पार्ट्स को अच्छी तरह देखो हो सके उतना रिवाइज करो वीडियो लेक्चर से हमने कितनी बार बोला बेनिफिट तो नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में अपन लोग एक कदम आगे बढ़ेंगे तब बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर होगा इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल पूरा विल स्टार्ट नाउ कैपेसिटर एंड कैपेसिटेंस ओके सो विल मीट वी कैन से नेक्स्ट लेक्चर बट फॉर कैपेसिटर एंड कैपेसिटेंस वंस अगेन लॉट्स ऑफ टाइम विथ यू प्लीज Use your each and every human.